Marred by years of violence, this region in northern Mauritania was until recently closed off to tourists. After a 10-year hiatus for security reasons, the so-called desert train is back on its rail tracks, and visitors are returning to the region. This is lovely, the breeze is refreshing. Welcome to the desert train. This is the line it runs on. It's a single-track railway. It's only been two years since France lifted a ban that made it illegal for its citizens to travel within the region. In 2007, four French nationals were murdered in the south of the country. Sidi Ahmed is now back at work, guiding a group of French tourists across the scorching desert. A lot of the Sahara is still out of bounds. It's such a shame, because it's an incredibly beautiful place. This train is the easiest way for them to get around the Sahara, as it takes them to areas that would still be difficult to access. Not only does it make for some stunning photos, but it's also the chance for them to take the journey into their own hands. A lifelong dream for Jean-Noël Triquet. After which he and his wife make their way to the very front of the train. It's like being in a film. This is the life. Give me a kiss. An exciting way for the couple to celebrate their 46th wedding anniversary. I welcome you all to my little hometown. At the end of the afternoon, they make a stop in Zurich to visit the country's largest iron ore mine. It's a crucial step towards understanding the history behind the rail tracks they're traveling on. The line was built by French colonialists who wanted a way to transport the ore to the Atlantic Ocean. And up to this day, a fret train also runs on these very tracks. With carriages that can add up to over two kilometers in length, it's the longest train in the world. As night falls, the group heads back to the train. It's been a while since the couple last spent a night on board a train, and they're at ease, unmoved by the idea of a possible terrorist attack. If they decided to reopen this line, it must be safe now, so we can come and enjoy everything here. The couple take a moment to gaze at the stars before heading off to bed, a view they'd have trouble finding anywhere else. Bonne nuit tout le monde. Dormez bien. Allez. Hop. By dawn, they reach a railway station in the middle of the desert. Four police squads guard the group, making sure the coast is clear before they head off for a walk. Tous ces pitons que vous pouvez voir, c'est ce magma qui a été soulevé et qui s'est refroidi au contact de l'air, en gros. Voilà, on continue donc vers Aisha. Là, il y a un scarabée. They've stopped in this region to admire the monoliths, some of the tallest in the world. After they've set up camp, Sidi Ahmed prepares a local speciality known as a pegala. In front of a fire, with my dinner and some tea. Thank God. <laughs> An exceptional setting, as the tourists make the most of their three-day journey.